<laughs> Back in the 80s and the 90s, it's hard for the kids to probably believe that there was no such thing as the internet back then. But we had to literally get mail-in submissions to an agent to grab their attention, and you were just kind of lucky or you knew somebody. And the way it's done today has changed so much. And I, I know in talking with you, Jackie, that there has been so many kids that you have met at Premier over the years. These kids have no training, no experience, and they come to you raw. And I think that that has become uh, more attractive in a lot of ways because you don't have to sort of unwind bad habits. Uh, talk to everyone about the kids that you have met that have literally no training and how uh, you see that as a positive. It's totally a positive. Um, what they do have, they may not have training, but they have passion and they have heart and they have a willingness and a desire. This is their dream and they want to do it. And that's, you know, sometimes that's stronger than training. Um, so we take them. I've gotten so many kids from here. I literally met a kid here who a week later was working. One week later. I've met kids here who've had auditions right off of the, off of the uh, headshot line and they've booked stuff. You know, when you're 22 years old, yeah, you need training. When you're eight and you're going on a commercial or you're going on a TV show where you have to, you know, I'm not saying you're going to carry the entire movie without any training, but you can definitely work, get parts on TV, get movie parts. Um, and like Michael said, without unlearning any bad habits, I've seen kids who have been through training who literally come in and, and they're like, oh, I'm going to do a headache commercial for you now. And they're like, my head hurts. <laughs> I'm going to take an aspirin. <laughs> Yeah, we need to untrain those kids. I kids call are that naturally mime actors. <laughs> yeah. 